Palantir stock is up over 120% this year so far, and a lot of people are asking me if it's still worth a buy. And the answer is no. If you want to make a lot of money on Palantir stock, you can either buy a lot of shares at an all-time high, or if you only have a little bit of capital, you can buy leaps, which are a much better option strategy, which can change your life. Here's how. Right now, Palantir is at an all-time high, which means that you want to get into the stock, but you want to get a more favorable price. That's typically either selling a put option or it's by risking less money with leap options. Palantir stock has skyrocketed 120% this year, but the real question is, what is going to happen next? This is the important question because I've made a lot of money. My one-on-one -on -one students have made a lot of money, but you're watching today and you're thinking to yourself, is it still worth a buy into the future? And that is a very hard question. It is hard to predict where Palantir will go. I am still bullish on it, but logic says that the more expensive a stock gets, the worse of a value it is because it's more expensive. If you're holding Palantir shares right now, you need to know there's a smarter way to grow your profits. That way is going to be buying leap options. So you're putting up a lot less capital up front and then trying to subsidize or reduce the cost of those leap options by selling covered calls against those leap options. Okay. I'm going to be showing you examples in this video and buying Palantir shares at an all time high right now is risky. I am going to tell you that straight up right now because I've been covering this stock since it IPO'd. You can see on this channel, years ago, I was covering Palantir. I've made a lot of money on Palantir, but as it goes up, I am becoming more cautious. That is just the truth, okay? It's the unfortunate truth because this stock was a such, it was just such a good value for a very long time. And it was my best idea. Palantir was my best idea. And now we've made a boatload of money and we need to be careful now because what you earn, you need to protect, okay? So what is a leap option? And how can it potentially be life-changing for you right now? Because in a year from now, a leap option can double in value, okay? It can double your wealth. So that's why it's very important to listen. Look, I'm going to go through an example and I'm going to walk you through this example. All right, so we're going to go ahead and type in Palantir and we're going to take a look at the options specifically of what I can do. I just want to point out, I have about 6% of my money in Palantir. I'm up $72,000 or a little bit over $72,000. $72,000. $72, um, I actually have shares of Palantir in my other portfolio as well, where I focus more on higher growth, more risky strategies, just being honest with you. I have a high risk tolerance in my other portfolio. I like to do different unique things that I cover with my one-on-one -on -one students, but this is really transparent here on, on YouTube. I've been trading for a <laughs> number of years and you guys seen me grow my portfolio from in the $100,000, $100,000 thereabouts to over $3 million. I've documented this whole process. Palantir has been a very good stock for me. Now, I'll be honest with you. I've made some mistakes where I, I haven't owned Palantir the whole entire time. I've sold it for profit and I've missed some opportunities, but I've also saved some money because Palantir did have some volatility. It, it went down. Currently, my current position, I'm up 65%, okay? And the options, I am down. I'm down on the options because covered calls are not advantageous when stocks go up. The good news is this video is not about covered calls. This video is about leap options. It's about leap options, which is gonna be a lot better because if I did leap options, I'd be up a lot more than 65%. I'd be up hundreds of percent, but I have a bigger portfolio and I'm all about safe, stable income. So this strategy is going to be, I don't wanna say it's more risky because it's not really more risky, but it's a lot higher return with about the same risk, give or take, depending on how you set up the option. So let me show you, um, if you buy a call option, a leap option is going to expire. All right, so essentially one year. So I'm gonna look for an option that's September 19, 2025. This right here, the, the use of a call option is to make it look like shares, okay? That's the whole point. You want it to look like shares. So for that, you can buy something like the 30 here, okay? A 30 call option and the delta here is 0.76, all right? So when you look at buying leaps and creating income on leaps, which is essentially called the poor man's covered call strategy, this strategy right here allows you to put up a lot less capital. So think about it this way. If you were to put up um, 100 shares of pounds here, it would cost you currently 100 times 36, which is $3,600. However, this leap option right here, instead of putting up $3,600, you can only put up $1,150. So the amount that you're putting up is a lot less. In fact, that's one third. So you're putting up one third of the capital and you can still get a really big return. I'll explain to you right now. So when you buy this, obviously it's a little bit worse by itself. Why? Well, the market isn't stupid. 
okay? The reason why you can put up less capital here is because your break even is higher, all right? So if Palantir goes up, a stockholder makes money, but a leap buyer, you have to break even at 41.18. There's some extra space, a gap that you have to fill. You need the stock to go up to, to really break even because this option has a lot of time value. Okay, there's a lot of time value on this option. However, you can sell calls because a long call option, a long leap option is the same thing kind of as shares. It gives you a lot of the same characteristics. So essentially, you kind of own 100 shares and you can use it and mimic 100 shares. So now you can sell covered call options. So if I were to sell a covered call, which is three months out, that in the long term, we're very bullish on balance here. We think it's going to keep rising. But let's say that we think it's only going to go up to $40 per share by January 2025. Then here's what you would do. You would sell a call option at 270. And now you can see the chart has changed. Um, now we're only putting up $880 instead of the 1150. So this has subsidized your cost, still giving you that upside. This looks like a covered call. It's very similar to a covered call, but you can see it's kind of losing value. If, if the stock goes up a lot, it kind of loses value because the short call option, the 40 call option that you're selling, it starts to kind of go against you if it's above 40. But it's not a problem because the 30 call option that you're long has a lot more delta, has a lot more strength. So you just lose a little bit of value here above 40, but it's not much, right? Your, your profits go down a little bit. Your max profit is like 452 here, but you know, it goes down to a little bit under 400. This is a very strong strategy, very strong strategy. I like this strategy a lot. And if you're looking at um, getting into Palantir for a cheaper cost, this is going to be very advantageous because buying Palantir shares at an all time high is risky. Leaps, they're potentially life-changing because you get to actually bet on Palantir without having to put up $3,600. You're only putting up $880 and you're still getting about the same upside. So this is a strategy to reduce your costs by 75%. This is one fourth. So 75% off, but still with about the same upside. Now, obviously if Palantir goes up to like $8 per share, you're not going to make as much as a stockholder, but I don't think it's going to go up to $80 per share by, by January 17, right? Now, real quick, when this goes to expiration, January 17, you don't really have to do much to manage the strategy, all right? I get a lot of my one-on-one -on -one students kind of freak out, like, oh, what should I do? It's getting closer. As long as it's out of the money, it's out of the money, you leave it alone. Once it hits in the money, I think about rolling this option position, which is actually really easy because you can roll from 40 to, let's say, like, 45 or something like that. Now, buying more Palantir shares at an all-time high is still not the best idea, but you should have about 10% of your money in Palantir because of the innovation in the AI. Instead of sinking thousands of dollars into the stock, I think that leap options can actually provide you a of two to three X return versus just buying the stock. Because when you buy the stock, you have to put up four times the capital. So you can make the same returns with you know, 75% less capital, which makes your returns basically like three to four times more. So here's why leaps could be the ultimate way to play pounds here in the next explosive move. Because the next explosive move, when I say explosive for me, I'm kind of like this old school, stable, passive investor. So an explosive move to me is like 5%. So that's a lot of money, right? Because when you invest a six figure portfolio, 5% in a short amount of time, $5,000, 200K portfolio, $10,000. It's a lot of money right? Uh, it's a lot of money for, for most people. It's a lot of money for doing things. Like I don't spend that much money in my day-to-day -day life. I can also get by on like $10,000 a month. And though I make a lot more, I'm not really a huge spender, I would say. Uh, I spend a lot of money sometimes, it just, it just depends. But five ten thousand $10,000 is a lot of money, especially overseas. I'm well, mainly overseas. I'm in my studio here in Poland, but I'm in Dubai sometimes, I'm in Moldova sometimes. I am I love Eastern Europe, so I spend a lot of time here, and that's my background, my culture. So yeah, I like spending time here, and I think when, when you look at Palantir, it's just a money-making opportunity. It's the cash cow, the cash flow, the gold mine opportunity for selling options, so you can live a more free life and travel or you know really get that passive safe income into retirement. So imagine having the chance to basically control 100 shares of Palantir without paying the full price up front. That's really a game changer. So I want you to look into this strategy and look, leaps, they give you the power to profit big without putting all your capital at risk, which is very important because I'm always looking out for risk management, 
risk management and optimal entry. These are the things that I focus on with my one on one students. When I have Zoom calls, I always ask the first question is, how is your portfolio allocated? Looking at asset allocation is the most important factor. You might not know that. Let me explain real fast. When I was working at Goldman Sachs, they were putting clients in buckets. They didn't pick stocks. Guys, the craziest thing is you got $100 million, you're a CEO, you go to Goldman Sachs, they're not picking stocks for you. They're picking asset allocation. Asset allocation, a popular, not so popular, a not so popular topic at all. A lot of people ignore this, which is absolutely wrong, okay? Asset allocation basically dictates how much of your capital do you have in different positions. I'm going to call this the asset allocation equation, okay? This equation, to me, 10 to 15 stocks, leaps, can also be 5 to 10% of your portfolio because we're in a bull market, guys. We've seen that with NVIDIA. We see that with Palantir. I've literally scaled my portfolio to almost $4 million by just focusing, okay, by just focusing on high quality companies. I got Tesla, I got NVIDIA, I have Apple, I have Walmart. You might be thinking to yourself, why would Henry have Walmart? This is a boring stock. It's not popular on YouTube. I don't care if it's popular on YouTube. I'm trying to get results. I have $174,000 gains on Walmart, on a boring company. So it's all about safe passive income and consistent income for me. Leaps provide a good source of income and growth, a lot of growth. Leaps give you the power to profit big without putting up the capital to risk. Leaps are literally one of the ultimate ways that you should be playing Palantir, especially if you're bullish on Palantir, because this is a bullish strategy. If you're bullish on Palantir long-term, or NVIDIA or any other stock, right? But you're concerned about their current price, leaps are your best friend. They're a way to have exposure at a lower price. They're a way to own shares, to have the upside with only putting up a fraction of the capital. You don't have to buy at all all-time highs, at especially these all-time highs. We're not cheap guys, by no means. And I'll show you how to, you know, basically use options to maximize profit without taking on too much risk. So look, if you have a portfolio that is, you know, somewhere around 50K, 100K, then basically if you're to trade Palantir, you would be doing about 10%, which here would be about three contracts, okay? That would be three full contracts, full. I mean, if you were to buy 300 shares, but leaps, that's a lot more that you can do because you're putting up a lot less capital, okay? Does that make sense? You're putting up a lot less capital, which means that you could do more contracts, which means that you can have more upside, all right? Some people will get in my case in the comment section down below, um, which, by the way, I read all the comments, but please be careful. There is a lot of scammers. If you see someone writing their Telegram, they're presenting to be me. Unfortunately, they're everywhere. They're on Telegram. They're on Discord. They're on YouTube. I do one on one coaching. That's why I also want to do one on one coaching. I want to build deep relationships and I don't want anyone to um, give their money to to like scammers or something like that. OK, so please just be very, very, very careful. I would rather just no one have any issues. It. it Honestly, like breaks my heart when I see that. I hate that. I was saying that you, some people get on my case because a leap option is a one year um, security, right? It's typically one year by definition. You don't have to do one year, guys. The whole point of a leap and the strategy I'm showing you, which is really the poor man's covered call, is that it gives you upside, gives you upside with a lot less capital up front, okay? So if I were to do something, this is a modified poor man's covered call. Um, put my own twist to it. I'm gonna do... Um, Let's just do like Henry's short-term leap, poor man's cover to call, all right? Definitions don't matter, results matter. So let's go, let's get into the results. 35, this would be a slightly in the money call option, very, very slightly. It's gonna go for a lot less money, only $500. Um, and then you could do shorter term options that expire in a month, essentially. So if I think that we have upside for pounds here, but only a couple dollars worth, I can go for like the 39 right here. And you can see how I'm getting a very big reduction in my overall cost. I'm going from $500 to $340. Essentially, that's the total cost. And I can bring in like $263 of total upside if everything happens according to plan. So what, what would that mean? If basically Palantir went to $39 per share, you would be up around $300 on on this option, right? Give or take, it's kind of difficult to, to say exactly because this option has a different expiration, but surely the 35 call option would be worth, it would be over $300 worth of profit. And this right here would basically be worth about zero at expiration, all right? So this option, let's say the new price would be 800. This expires worthless. It's a lot of money. Why? 
five to eight is three three dollars three hundred dollars and this option you sold dk so you made four you can make you can actually make 450 dollars i actually knew that that's why i was doing the math in, in front of you guys because this isn't really actually correct robin hood isn't fully uh accurately calculating the the top price I don't, I don't know why that's the case but in theory you can this option can be worth eight dollars and this option could be worth zero so you would make 300 and 150 all right so 450 dollars very powerful for putting up $350. So obviously a lot of things don't have to go very according to plan, but as long as Palantir basically goes up, you're you're essentially going to be making money. You're going to be making pretty good income without putting up that much capital. Now this strategy isn't for everyone, but if you're looking to make significant gains with limited capital, this is going to be the best strategy. Now we went over the strategy and I want to discuss something that you can't overlook. Palantir its recognition as a leading AI platform is really why I'm investing in this company. Palantir has been recognized as the number one AI and machine learning platform by Forrester Wave, reinforcing its market dominance. The company has made substantial gains both in government and commercial sectors. The CEO is absolutely phenomenal. I mentioned that he went to my high school. I liked the innovation going on at Palantir. Palantir's position is at the forefront and it presents a prime opportunity for investors to capitalize on the company's expanding market share. The company's ability to secure long-term government contracts is why I like it so much. It has their hand in the government's pocket. All right, my tax dollars, I want them back a little bit, okay? Right? I pay a lot of taxes, all right? Now, they have their hands in the government pocket. They have long-term contracts with the government as well as the commercial sector. This, These contracts are hundreds of millions of dollars, and they're likely to keep getting renewed because Palantir, once they're in a company, hard to get them out because once they install their software, it's very expensive and it's hard to move over because data science as an industry, there's a lot of data data siloed in different parts of a company. Organizing all that data is the hardest part. It's not really analyzing the data. A data scientist can analyze data in a reasonable amount of time. Organizing the data and getting it efficiently without like errors and mistakes is very difficult. Palantir basically solves all of those equations, right? From the very beginning, A to Z, right? Additionally, Palantir's focus on AI-driven solutions positions it to benefit from the increased demand for automation, making it a compelling choice for investors seeking exposure to the AI revolution. That's why I've been covering a lot on NVIDIA. That's why I cover Palantir. I've been investing in these stocks for a very long time, guys, before it was popular on YouTube. I had a Palantir stock. Now, NVIDIA, I, I I made a mistake. I was avoiding it a little bit for some time. I was on and off with it. I have a love-hate relationship with it. I've made money overall, but I've missed some opportunities as well. So you have to be in trends right now, guys, because going into 2025, there is a lot of money to be made, especially with picking the right stocks, selling options, and even running lucrative buying strategies like the poor man's covered call, like buying leap options, like selling covered calls on a leap option, which is all the same thing. Thing, right? It's all the same thing. You're getting exposure into the stock. So since going public in 2020, Palantir has doubled its revenue from government and commercial sectors. They have doubled okay, since 2020. Its international business has also grown significantly without compromising its principles by selling to China or Russia. I've covered Palantir when it IPO'd. I actually heard about this stock from one of my high school buddies who's in the steel business. That's really kind of interesting. My buddy's in the steel business um, because Alex Karp is an alumni of my high school and there's a lot of talk at my high school of Alex Karp because we're, we're proud of him, right? He he's has a very interesting background, which also is a very big positive for Palantir. Alex Karp, he has a Jewish clinical PD pediatrician father and an African-American artist mother. Very diverse. He was raised in Philadelphia. He graduated Central High School in 1985. I graduated in 2012, uh, thereabouts. I think it was 2012. And uh, I personally have over 5,000 shares of Palantir. And I'm up a lot, as you just saw when I was sharing my screen. And I'm going to continue adding to my position because this stock makes logical sense. Given exceptional management, AI, the fundamentals of the business are very strong. The brand is very strong. The contracts that they have in place are stable. This is everything that I look for in a company. This is exactly the type of company that I've been investing in and making money hand over fist, you know, buy stuff over try stuff, you know, as I said. <laughs> if you want to have hands-on help and you want live Zoom calls, you want to text me, have trades with me and one-on-one -on -one coaching, I am doing one-on-one -on -one coaching now. Uh, if you have a portfolio that is ideally over $50,000, 
dollars in six figures. I want to help you produce consistent cash flow, stable income. So go ahead and visit my description to schedule a no pressure consultation with one of my team members about my one-on-one -on -one coaching. You can see for yourself if it's a good fit, if you like my coaching style, if you like the details, the pricing of it, um, everything can be went over on that no pressure call. So go ahead. I'm happy to help you and I want to help you achieve retirement. I want to help you achieve your income goals. This is what has changed my life so much. So hope that you invest safe and I'll catch you in the next video.